I don't know who need to hear this, but girl, it's your season. What are you doing? If not you, then who? Girl, get out your head. It is your time to shine, baby. my channel if you are new here my name is margaret go ahead and subscribe hit the bell notification so that whenever i do post a video you are the very first to see it so we're gonna get straight into it okay so this video is the ultimate guide to becoming that girl i know we said that girl and that was it but no this is a christian edition you are it right now you just have to believe in yourself but here are four things how you can become that girl you need to prioritize your relationship with god the second thing is seek wisdom daily, build routines around your lifestyle, and develop godly relationships, which is so important. But we're going to go into the first one. Prioritizing your relationship with God. Building intimacy with God and getting closer to God starts with you realizing how much He loves you. When I say He loves you, He literally died on the cross for our sins and love us every single day. To sit and think about the ways that God loved me. Y'all, there are days that I don't even love myself, but you know who still loves me? God. So the days you don't feel like you're good enough, remember that God knows that you're good enough. The days that you don't have any strength left in you, believe that God has the strength in order to keep you going. God loves you so much that he allowed you to wake up this morning, have shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, a roof over your head. In order for you to see yourself the way that God sees you through his lens, you gotta start creating an intimacy with God. If you struggle with that, pray for a revelation of God's love for you. And I promise you, he will show you. Another thing that comes with prioritizing your relationship with God, you need to establish your identity in Christ. What that means is we all place our identity in something, okay? But you need to build yours around who God says you are in his word, not nobody else's word. That just means you need to pray for yourself daily. I'm not gonna lie, there are times I do have to, I, I'm always praying for my family, I'm always praying for my loved ones, I'm always praying for the people who are connected to me. And there are times I have to like, all right, Margaret, get it together. You need to start praying for yourself. And lastly, when it comes to prioritizing your relationship with God, you need to develop your faith. The Bible is literally filled with God promises to you. I know some people, like I've heard somebody tell me like the Bible is intimidating because they don't understand the language. Y'all, they have so many different versions of the Bible. Like just the other day, my cousin told me that... <laughs> This isn't funny because I laugh. Like, this isn't funny because I do that sometimes. I definitely like to go through different versions, like King James Version, New Living, Big International. And she told me that there was one about children's... No, I'm going to tell you it. Hold on. There is a version called ICB, and that's International Children's Book, which means it will break it down for someone who may be a child, like the language of a child, like there is no reason for you to feel intimidated reading the Bible because they have so many different versions that you can read from. You need to decide to trust God more and watch your faith grow as you invite him into every area of your life, y'all. Last year, I could be transparent on here, Last year, my husband and I lost our job. He lost his job first, and I lost mine the month after. Unexpectedly, we were not expecting that at all. And there were months, we did not know how our rent was going to be paid. Do you hear me? But we, our faith never, never wavered because this wasn't even touching the surface of what we dealt with back then. And so we literally built our faith. If you struggle with your faith, I do have a devotional literally dedicated to faith with scriptures and an area for you to write your notes in. Check out my website in order to find that ebook to help you build up your faith. But God made a way. We had food on the table. We were traveling and we did not have a job. But you know what happened? Our faith never wavered. 
and we smiled through it all. Now, don't get me wrong, there were randomly blue moons where I didn't get a little discouraged, but we were just reminding each other, like, wait a minute, like, this is, the trouble don't last always, and we're doing good, like, I remember going to, we certainly, y'all, we so much did not know how our uh, bills were gonna be paid. We were doing community service, smiling, helping people in our community, but wondering where the money was gonna come from. And you know where it came from, it came from God. Deciding to trust God more, you gonna be asking God for a book and he gonna make you the best seller. Like, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we may ask or think. The second step to becoming that girl is to seek wisdom daily. I honestly can't stress that enough. Reading Bible plan. Go on your Bible app, y'all. It is free, free 99. Make sure to the books that you're reading are feeding you. And then of course you wanna make sure that you either find an accountability partner, whether that's a mentor, a coach, that can help you become the woman that you are called to be. The third step in becoming that girl, you need to build routines around your lifestyle. That means the type of food that you're eating, because your health is so important. Um, taking walks, either going to the gym, taking walks. I am slowly trying to get myself back into the gym because I definitely took a break. But even that is just as important as making sure that you're not eating so much fried food. And then beauty maintenance. It's nothing like waking up, your hair is already done for the day, honey. I don't know what it is. Like, why are we like that? I'm going to say we because I know I'm not alone in this. When my hair is not done, baby, I don't feel my best. Like, I wake up like, I don't feel cute. I feel ugly. Like, I don't feel this. Like, I just feel blah. Like, I just like, what is going on with me? But baby, the minute I go and get my hair done, oh baby, I am that girl, okay? Or going to go get your nails done. I'm a press-on queen, so I'll pop, a, I'll pop on and off a press-on any day. Going to get your toes done now. That I'll go get done because I need that massage. So yeah, or going to the spa or just anything that, you know, you wanting to become that girl, doing those things. And by doing those things will allow you to be that girl. And the last step is to develop godly relationships. I'm sorry. Like, I, I just got to say, I can't. Whew. Oh, Lord. What does that look like? First of all, let's start off with your family. You need to pray often over your family for their salvation, y'all. Our family members are dealing with things secretly and battling with things that they do not share. They do not share it. So praying for your family is so important. And then your friends, you need to find opportunities to fellowship with like-minded women. To learn common sense and common to everybody and we're all not raised the same, which is crazy because I had the worst childhood ever. And so the fact that I'm able to love on someone, pour into someone, support someone, I want that reciprocated. And so because I want that reciprocated, I do to that person what I wish could be done to me. And if that person can't, if that friend not like that, then baby, you need to let them go. This completes the ultimate guide of becoming that girl. The only homework that I have for y'all tonight is to comment down below any other things that you feel like it can help anyone in here to become that girl, especially in 2024. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that whenever I do post a video, you are the very first to see it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.